Hey, welcome to Fireside Gaming. I'm Billim, and we are checking out Solvars. Solvars? Probably how it's said. Uh, this is a turn-based RPG in the style of like a... I mean, I don't just want to say Persona style, but you would get what I mean if I said it with the appearance it has. Uh, it looks like we've got a one-hour playable demo, so let's go ahead and jump into the game. It does have controller support, which is... Welcome. I typically enjoy that. Okay. Oh, that's an interesting radial kind of wheel. Very flashy. Ah, so since I targeted a weakness, I can use two swords, which is going to give me a special attack. I can get behind this. Oh, cool, it also just has it on a button if I wanted it. Interesting. Okay, now we're running around. Oh, interesting. So I'm not free control, I was just hitting left and I was running through the entire areas. Huh. And that's a weakness, so yep, we should get two attacks. And those were weaknesses, so now we get attacks again. Very flashy system. Like, not in a bad way or anything. Oh, I see, we've got a map up top. Oh, and left bumper and right bumper. Oh, I can look at different things. Okay, I have probably been missing stuff then. I didn't quite realize what was going on here. Let me. Items. Totally wrecked. Okay. Should I have read that? When you have two or more AP, you can combine soul bits to activate special arts you've unlocked. Okay. Interesting. Um, what if I try to go the other way with the fire? I mean, this guy's been using fire element. Okay. Alright. Strong signal ahead. Let's check it out. Sure, let's do heat chain. Oh, even more. Okay. Um, that's a cure capsule. Yield heat.
Ow. Holy crap, ow. Alternation. Buff all stats and load alternate arts effect ends when used. Trigger HP 40% cooldown 3 hours. Oh, okay. So, alright. And that healed me all the way too. A deco flame. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, okay, that'll do it. Okay. Yes, please. Oh, okay, I can buy stuff. I've got lots of money, so... Some healing items. Help us get through this uh, potentially really bad fight that's coming up. Up or down, huh? Let's go down. And immediately fine, guys. It's fine. I'm digging this system of building yourself up with uh, additional attacks. By targeting weak points and stuff like that, that's a that's a fun system that I can get behind. Ooh, I found a new one, prominence. Status affects soul bits damage you when used. Times two if they reach the left side of the sequencer. Oh. Okay, I'll just take that as my sign to use it. Hmm. Okay, so if I wanted to just put up a block, I would block. Okay. Oh, it leveled. So the more you use abilities, they level. I can use HP down to grab additional items. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'm digging this game's feel so far.
I never did go up. Can't go that way yet. Oh! Found another enemy. Okay. Oh yeah, I should, uh, I should heal. Seems like time actually has something to do with the game itself. So I know I said Persona earlier, but the more I'm playing this game, the general feel I get of it isn't Persona, it's actually um, Devil Survivor, even though it's not a uh, strategy game or anything like that, like Devil Survivor is. Something about its overall like overall tone and just its, its appearance kind of give me that vibe. I could choose to do two, or I could just choose to... Okay. Do I always have to use 100% of my stuff? There's Heat Chain leveled up. Strong signal again. Two characters. Oh, that kind of looked like they worked off of each other there. Ooh, very nice. Okay. Oh, something new. Yeah, like I said, this combat is very flashy. And like, I knew that from the trailer, but I didn't realize how flashy it was going to be whenever I was actually playing. Well, I get to keep this guy. All of the things for me. Not that I 
you know, know a whole lot about what everything does yet, but still. Actually, wait, wait, wait. I don't want that. I want this. Also, it's going to sound incredibly silly, but I very much enjoy the fact that the game has a scanline filter on it. I just really like that as a visual effect. Contribute it to growing up with the 90s, though, and in some cases it really does help make a game kind of like blend and look, look good and stuff. Titan gloves. So can I change equipment? Um... This guy uses gloves, or at least he has gloves, I mean. Okay, so here I can actually check out my arts. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Okay, okay. All right. So I'm 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 getting an idea. How this works. Okay. Oh, do we go in here? Sure. Okay, there wasn't much here. Okay. You weren't going to explain what that was. I have to go look. Oh. Okay. That's fun. Gives me access to my super mode, essentially, more frequently.
Another strong signal. All right. Time for dominators. Stay sharp. That's a car. That's an altar. Looks like us. Thing. Shion, is that you? Izuna. Okay. Now I've got my third party member. It's funny because I'm looking at this and it is a very, very busy HUD. But at the same time, it's making it really easy to find all of the information I need. So I don't necessarily hate it, you know? Found another move. Oh, it was a dodge. Okay. There we go. Ooh, a gargoyle core. Will that allow me to change the beast I turn into? Sure, to the next area. Okay. Seven hours? That seems crazy. I mean, my guys are a little hurt. Okay, now we're starting to get things where we're going to have to look around for the ways in. Ooh, side quest. Okay. That means it's actually bad. 
but I'm gonna do it anyways just to see. Yep, resist. That's fine. Everyone has a connected element, it looks like. And a preferred weapon type as well. To trigger different weaknesses. Okay. Switch on. Shutters open. Oh, nice. Just all right on the first row. This just keeps going. What is that? I didn't get to see her move. Javelin. I'm actually going the right way. It takes me down. I was looking for the little girl, so... This takes me to her. That's a side quest, right? whole lot good, huh? Same here. flashy. Saying flashy way too much. It was cool. Nope. Oh, here she is. Oh, game. You can do that. I'm gonna turn her into this ugly looking Ultros looking thing. Why would you do that, game?
Red pouch. Oh, game. Don't do that, game. Don't do that, game. I don't feel good about that. Just gonna have all the healing items. Man, nothing good. It's those creatures in particular. here let's go let's go do your depressing side quest that was the other way down Was that not? Hmm.
There's a lot going on here. Arts, gear, mod chips. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to get into it all, just because, as you can see on the top, this is a timed demo. So I kind of just don't feel right delving into the system like that deeply and just sitting around and reading menus. Which feels a little wrong since it means I'm not getting like a full understanding of the game, but... At the same time, you know, you've limited my time. I think at that point I'd rather have had a demo that just um, went to a certain point and then, you know, that was it. And then I could be like, all right, I can take as long as I want to learn the battle system. Yes, everybody kick it. No weapons for this thing, everyone's just gonna attack it with hands and feet. So much in the way of like items that it just feels wrong to not be like, look at this I got I got a gun let's make, let's make my sub weapon a gun see what that does We're doing the Final Fantasy thing where he's the same size as us outside of the battle, but inside of the battle he's freaking huge. Keep shooting him. Just keep casually shooting this guy to death.
Mm, okay. Found a new one. Okay. Not quite sure what that did. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how those work. Not what I meant to do with her. Cross Edge is level 3. That's handy, I can look at their arts. You know, let's see what Soul Heal does. Okay, it heals. Don't know what else I was expecting. going on for quite a while for a boss fight like okay it's a boss fight it should go on for quite a while but I'm just like man this is really going cool 
There we go. Earth Kick. That's what I was looking for. And javelin as well. Hey! Earth Kick did it. Very nice. Oof, music just kind of cut in there, huh? Mm, okay. Oh. Okay. Maybe I should have had some time to sit around and look at the battle systems. I just... I felt rushed. So I thought I had to. Okay, well, um... That was fun. And it looks like, yeah, I could go play it again if I wanted to. If I wanted to mess with the systems more, I'm not going to do that. Um, that's fine. If you don't like the... Okay. Why would you? Why would you ever turn that off? Hmm. Okay. Sorry. Uh, this looks fun. I mean, ooh, pixel art. Wish I would have seen that. Um, this is very fun so far. I greatly enjoyed that. I thought the combat seemed interesting. The HUD was busy. There's no getting around that, but it also left all of the information I needed pretty much up there and on it. Um, the only things were there were some moves that would show up on the wheel that I just didn't know. But granted, this is a demo. If I was playing the full game, there could be explanations for that kind of stuff. Whenever they like start the game off, they tell you all this everything. So, hmm, um, that could be, that could be really good. Like, I'm actually pretty happy with this. Uh, I like the visual style it's got going on with its pixel art. It's got a scanline filter, and I'm stupid because that just makes me happy when I see it on pixel art, even if it's not on a CRT. Uh, I like the... Music has been very engaging. The battle system is very, very active, even though it's a turn-based battle. It's the kind of thing where, like, if you want battles to be a bit more, like, like quick and snappy, um, this is definitely it. It's got a lot of flair with its combos, its attacks. I like how characters jump off and shout to each other while they're attacking and pass off turns. The story seems interesting. I overall dig the general vibe I'm getting from this game. Uh, this is definitely going to be one that I wishlist and I wait to see when it comes out. Does that mean it'll be an Indie Insight or something like that? It, it might be. It just depends on what I have at my, on my plate at the time. Do I have time for a RPG, especially if it might be a longer one? I don't know how long this would last, even if it's, if it's only like 20 hours, that might not be too bad, especially considering... And I mean for review's sake, not for game length. If it was longer than that, that would probably be fine. I Like I said, that's I was enjoying what I was playing here. Um, I'm just talking about my, me personally getting around to looking at it. Especially since I wouldn't really do story because I don't like to on brand new games. Just to help everyone avoid spoilers. But yeah, this looked fun. If it looked fun to you, you know, this is uh, Steam Next Fest is going on. That's why this is up. Um, I do Let's Plays of it already. Um... Already, jeez. I do Let's Plays of it whenever it pops up, just to check out some demos and things like that. I have things to recommend to you guys. This is a good one. This is definitely one worth checking out. Uh, you can stick around, check out my channel. I do a lot of retro reviews for older games. I do more of these Let's Plays, or mostly demo discourse. I've got another one I've been doing that's a Gundam game that I've really been slacking on. And yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, take it easy.